Hello everyone, nice to see you again. You can take a look at these pictures. You will feel like the same character, just wear a different suit. I create those consistent characters in automatic 1111. Let's see how to do it. First, let's do some preparation. Go to extensions. Update your control net to the latest version. Then go to this page. The link I will put in the description. Download all these IP adapters. They call the face ID. Then paste them in your web UI. Extensions. Control net. Models folder. Next, download all of this LoRa. Put them in the LoRa's folder. At last, restart your stable diffusion. The checkpoint I use is realistic vision. The prompt is very simple. I just wrote a girl yellow shirt, smiling, masterpiece, best quality. You can go to LoRa. Find the face ID plus SD 1.5. You can see there is another LoRa. Plus V2. This LoRa can be supported in Config UI, but in Automatic 1111, you can't use it at this moment. So I choose this one. Enable the first control net. Put the picture of the character face into this control net. The control type is IP adapter. Be careful. The preprocessor and the model should match each other. Here I choose face ID plus. Then the model you should also choose face ID plus SD 1.5. Otherwise, they won't work. Generate the picture. I feel now this face is too strong. So I just lower the number to 0.5. Generate again. This is the original picture of the face. And this is the final result. Now let's change the clothes. Let her wear armor instead, in front of a castle. Let's see how it will look. It keeps the consistency. If you want to control the gesture, then you can open the second control net. Give it a picture. The control type you can choose Open Pose. Preprocessor, I choose DW Open Pose. Let's see the result. Let's try. Let her wear a, a blue long dress in the forest. You can also change the gesture. I change another picture for the gesture. Let's see. That's all for today. If you like my video, please give me a like and a subscribe. See you!